This is the Pick and Mix Pickful Terre from Cote de Tau in France. Yes, we're in a beautiful part of France for this wine. The Cote de Tau is Europe's largest saltwater lagoon, lying just off the Med in the south of France. It's particularly well known as the place where France does almost all of its mussel and oyster farming. No surprise then that this is a region that produces great white wines, perfect for pairing with fish and seafood. In fact, they've even put it on the label. Yeah, I mean, very nice. And it, look, this is a 50-50 blend here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, one of the grapes I've recently grown to know and love, after a recommendation from you, Sam, actually. Uh, the other, I've never heard of. Yes, this is a region pretty much only deals with its own native grape varieties. No Sauvignons or Chardonnays to speak of here. The first grape is Pickful. Sometimes spelt with a Q, sometimes spelt with a C, depending on where you are. Pickful de Pinay is a white that we are starting to see more often in the supermarkets or on a wine list. That's the recent favourite of yours, isn't it? It is. Confusingly, Pickful de Pinay is actually a place or region, not the grape, but does contain 100% Pickful the grape. This wine is 50% Pickful and 50% Terre, an ancient grape variety that goes back centuries. It's been used in vermouth making for a long time, and it's also one of the permitted grapes in the world famous Chateau Neuf de Pape. Mm -hmm. Now, for me, uh, Pickpool is the ultimate patio wine. Uh, it's crisp, simple, uh, ridiculously refreshing. Uh, I like to get it super chilled and smash a couple on a hot summer's day. Uh, this is giving me all the same feels. Absolutely. Terre is also what's called an early ripener, which enables it to maintain high acidity, which is the most important ingredient for that refreshment factor. This wine has had a touch of lees aging, where yeast is left in for a short spell before filtering out to make the wine test richer, but only the slightest whiff. We are definitely, as you say, in the clean and crisp territory here. And I guess if it's not in the sun on its own, based on what you said, this is an easy pairing, right? Yeah, you got it. I mean, it says on the label, perfect with seafood. They say you can almost taste the saltiness, in fact, from this wine from a nearby lagoon. Not sure about that, but I know I could definitely sit through a fair bit of this with a Fouille de Mer. Oh, fancy. Cheers. Cheers.